Hi, this is Gio from Street Media. We are in New York City. It's never been a better time to be in the content business than right now. So Street is helping solving the major problems that content providers are having. Not only are we helping solving them, but we're having some great kick-ass meetings right now in New York City. And let's see, let's see who we find. Let's see if we find some. Uh, hey, Mr. Cliff, hey, how are you doing? We're live from New York City. We're Cliff. Hey, Cliff from New York. Listen, welcome, Cliff, welcome. What do you think? Uh, what do you think of New York? First of all, oh, I love New York. It's one of my favorite places. Come here often, so uh, you know it's excellent here. But yeah. crappy day though. Crappy day. Yeah, I heard. It. Well, it started well. It started well. Yeah. Listen, uh, NAB, what, uh, what what does it mean for you to be here? Well, Why are you here? What are you thinking? A long time ago, it meant a bunch of fat cables and overpriced cameras and things like that. But now it means, uh, you know, streaming and uh, things in the cloud and cash falling into my pocket rather than some, uh, you know, some yeah, hardware right. vendor, you know? So, so, uh, so big conversations uh, in, uh, in inside the show is direct to consumer. Right. Uh, what does it mean? What's your vision of direct to consumer oh, for yeah, you guys? See, that did, I don't know if you saw. There was a big article last weekend in the LA Times, which was it was pretty fabulous. Um, they're just kind of like breaking it all down. But one thing that was interesting, they said, if you think you know the answer, you're a fool. And that's what it is. It's Wild West right now. I mean, it's anybody's game. I mean, this levels the playing fields. If I have a hit show on my network. They'll go pay to play on my network, and everybody will claw back their content. It's all going to be—it's going to be crazy. So, you know, get, let the creativity begin. And, and last piece is uh, uh, gamification. So the end user wants to be engaged. They want to—they want stuff that is interactive. Right. They don't just want content, 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 because they can literally go to YouTube and watch content. So, uh, what do you think of gamification and gamifying that content yeah, experience? So, uh, unfortunately, I'm old. Right, so uh, we had an Atari with Pong and Space Invaders and things like that, and so, so the fact that everybody wants to gamify everything, I understand that is engaging to people, but I, I don't, I don't know why it's engaging to people. I'm just kind of stumbling through that. I'm like, sure, we can put trivia games out there. We can put, you know, all kinds of things out there for people to get involved in, and and it works with my children. You know, if I give them points and badges and stickers and all kinds of stuff, they just love that. I remember when, um, when you had, when we first launched uh, satellite radio, uh, there was a on XM there was a station called Twenty on Twenty, and you would go log onto your computer and vote for the twenty songs that were going to play on that on Channel Twenty. And so, of course, people did it all day long because they are influencing what comes out. And so, you know, I think it's, I understand it. I, I don't, you know, I'm learning it, but yeah. <laughs> you might not be a player. You might not be a player, but yes, yeah. yes, I mean, the market. Well, I, you know, I, I respect that that goes on, right? That, that <laughs> sounds great. So it's never been a better time to be in the content business than right now. Bye from New York. Hey, we are at uh, NAB with Strian.